in this particular video we're going to be looking at a Venn diagram. Now this is really about level 7 plus at GCSE with the new specification. It does take a little bit of time to actually work through but hopefully you'll be able to follow it. Please do uh, print from the link below in the description and have a go at this for yourself. I'm going to try to keep as much information on the screen as I can. Okay, so Sammy asked 50 people um, which drinks they liked from tea, coffee and milk. All 50 people like at least one of the drinks. And then it gives you a whole load of information that we're actually going to um, demonstrate or show on a Venn diagram. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to draw three big circles. Now each of those circles will represent one of the drinks. So hopefully you'll be able to see this okay. So that's going to be my tea. Uh, this is going to be coffee. Okay, and then finally this one over here is going to be milk. Okay, they're probably about the worst circles I could possibly do. Okay, so that's tea. And uh, this is going to be coffee. Okay, and this is going to be milk. All right, let's try filling this bits of information in. They look awful. Um, <laughs> let's try filling the information in on the screen. Okay, so 19 people like all three drinks. Well, that's fairly straightforward. I can tick that one off because that's going to be represented by this number in the middle. 19 people who like all three drinks. Okay, then it says 16 people like tea and coffee. So here's my tea and here's my coffee, but they don't like milk. Okay, so that's gonna be represented by this section here because it's not part of the milk circle. It's 16 people over here, okay? Then it says 21 people like coffee and milk. Okay, well, this is coffee and this is milk and we've got 21 people who like coffee and milk. Well the problem is 19 people have already been accounted for. So in other words there's an additional two people who only like coffee and milk. Okay so we can put that into there. All right, so what we've dealt with then is this one and this one and we've got 24 people who like tea and milk. All right, well, let's have a look at that. We've got tea and milk, and we've got 24 people who like basically in this section here, of which 19 have already accounted for, who though those 19 happen to actually like coffee, but the people who like tea and milk are still within this section here, which means that there must be five because there is 24 people all together. Okay, then we've got 40 people like coffee. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Well, if we look at this, we've already got 16, 19, and two people who like coffee. So if I added all of those up, I've got 16, add 19, add two, and that's going to go to 37 people, which mean that three people out of the 40 only like coffee. Okay which is fine. And then it says 40 people, I uh, so beg your pardon, uh, 40 people like coffee and one person likes only milk. Well, that's going to go into there. All right. So um, if I now add up all of these, bearing in mind this whole thing is representing 50 people, I'm actually going to get um, 46 altogether. So in other words, there are four people then who only like tea. So that really is how you would build up this Venn diagram. It does take a little bit of practice to kind of um, imagine how this is going to uh, work. But if you work methodically, you should be able to come up with a solution very similar to this. OK, so then it says work out out of all these 50 people, Sammy selects at random one of the 50 people, work out the probability that this person likes tea. Okay, so all we need to do is add up all of those and that comes to 44 of the people out of the 50 who like the hot drinks. So this is, or like the drink. So 44 out of 50 would be the answer to that particular question. Okay. 
Then we've got um, part B of this where it says, given that the person selected at random from the 50 people likes tea. Right, let's just break that down a little bit. So let's just ignore that because we know it's from 50 people. You know, given that the person selected at random likes tea, so there's going to be 44 people that like tea. T, we know that. Find the probability the person also likes exactly one other drink. Okay, well, if they like exactly one other drink, then that's going to be uh, these people here, which is 16. So they like one other drink. So here's the people that like uh, tea. Okay, these people like uh, coffee as well. And these people like milk as well. OK, so the 19 people at the moment like both drinks. Well, that doesn't qualify, qualify to answer the question. It's exactly one other drink. So that's going to be 16 plus 5. So that's going to give us 21 out of 44 as an answer to the question. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. It's going to take a little bit of time to work through. Um, please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.